Welcome back to another video of the Rugrats. So today's video is going to be a little different. I know I've been talking about the Rugrats reboot and it's been a while. Uh, you know, my opinion on the Rugrats reboot, it's good for nostalgia. Um, you know, it doesn't have the same magic that I once thought it had, you know, back in the 1990s. Nevertheless, it was it was pretty good. It, it's not a bad show to watch, you guys. It just, you know, I guess... I guess because I'm older, you know, it just doesn't have the same magic. But that doesn't stop me from the reason why I talk about the Rugrats on my channel, because we're going to be talking about Rugrats as adults. And this is kind of the thing that I really wanted in the Rugrats reboot. Like they can actually age these people up to adults, you know, and the problem with the Rugrats reboot is that, you know, they try to change everything up. And, you know, people from the millennials, you know, from the 1990s, they're going to think, hey, what is going on? Why are you changing up this character? And I feel like they wouldn't have got so much backlash if they just kept it like the original. But it is what it is. People would have, you know, still complained. But I, I feel like maybe in season two or season three, they can do like a rugrats age to 30 years old i mean that's still possible but i mean look they don't even need the team the same team to create that because they can get a whole new cast of characters i mean just imagine the possibilities of aging these rugrats to like 30 years old i'm talking about yes they're gonna be like 31 32 you know and then with their own kids as well so i mean imagine that you guys Imagine the story that they can add to that. Like you can add, you know, the personalities of the Rugrats that they have today and bring it on over into them being 30 years old. And then they can have the same personality as their parents or even opposite of their parents. Like this image looks pretty good. Like Susie actually looks like legit. And I take it that's Chucky's baby because, I mean, there's red head on that baby. And it's like, I'm not trying to, you know, be racist or anything. But, yeah, it's a brown baby. And I wish, like, the people that actually make the show, like, they can think about this stuff. Like, hey, this can garner old fans and new fans as well. In my opinion, I mean, there's just so much possibility with this. Like, there's just so much that they can do. Like, Chucky could still play, you know, his role as a scaredy cat. And then his baby can actually be, like, opposite of him and be, like, brave like Tommy. Or they could even make him the same as how he was, you know? My favorite episode of all time is, like, when Chucky and Tommy goes to work. And they, like, imagine themselves as adults. And, you know, they didn't want to get fired. And the boss being Angelica. I remember Chucky was like... I don't want to be a grown-up, uh, uh, Tommy. I don't want to be a grown-up. It's too scary. I don't want to get fired. And I love that reference, like, where Chucky says he didn't want to get fired. Like, he actually thought that he was going to get thrown in the fire. That's just a type of shows that, from the 90s, that was just so iconic. It was just, if, you know, as kids, it, you, you kind of, like had a connection with that like you didn't know, you didn't know what was going on in the real world as well like I even thought that jobs are gonna be like that boy was I wrong I do not want to be a grown-up anymore and for you kids that are saying that you you know can't wait to you'll be 18 21 man let me tell you if I can go back in time I would wait and just take your time being a kid for real because being an adult being an adult really sucks. It really does. It has its perks, but it's just so much responsibility. So even if they did, you know, age the Rugrats to 30, you may ask, like, what happens to their parents? So, I mean, they can even age their parents to being, like, grandpa and grandpa. You know, like, they can be, you know, anywhere in their 70s and still, you know, have an iconic role, you know? So it's like... There's just so much potential here, you guys. And I mean, look, like characters like Grandpa Lou, I mean, look, he they're probably not going to put him in there. <laughs> so, I mean, 
you know, and they they can add like an element to this. Like it doesn't have to just they don't have to just age them straight to 30 years old. But I mean, they can progress it. They can maybe play a season or even some episodes like they can play like maybe three episodes of them being teenagers and then three episodes of them being in college. And then you have the rest of the season to play with of them being an actual adult in their thirties with kids. I mean, either I'm crazy or is that some good production? You guys, I feel like, Hey, maybe I should be in production for movies or shows. I mean, this will just be a game changer. I, I believe for the Rugrats universe, uh, you know, the, the approach that they did with the Rugrats reboot, it's not really that popular. I mean, people are watching it, but it's just not as popular with the younger kids. And the reason I say that is my four-year-old daughter, you know, she, she'd rather watch this 90s Rugrats rather than this new generation Rugrats. I really like this image right here. 20 years ago, they look like adults. Now they just look like your friends. And it's crazy, you guys. 20 years ago when I was watching the Rugrats, I felt like, you know, the adults were like really funny and just really geeky and crazy. You know, it's like, why are they acting like this? You know, and I always questioned that as a kid. Like, why are these adults acting like this? But it's like, now that I look at it, I'm in my 30s, early 30s, and now it's like, yeah, we do the same thing that they do. You know, I remember the episode with uh, Stu jumping off, uh, you know, a pool in order to save Tommy. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, there's just so much connection from the 90s Rugrats that we have now. Like, you can connect them from... 20 years ago and now you can connect with the adults you know and so that's that's just what I really like about the Rugrats and another thing that I like about the Rugrats reboot is that you can kind of connect with these parents as well like Stu playing video games or you know Dee Dee doing her little Instagram type of TikTok you know situation that she got going on so I mean you know it has a you know, it's cons and it's pros as well. So, but anyways, you guys, if you guys like this video, go ahead and like it, comment, let me know what you guys think. I know my channel has been all over the place. It's just been a lot of pauses here and there. It's just been busy with work, but I'm going to try to make a new series for you guys. And I really want to talk about the Rugrats being adults. And I think that we can, you know, talk and see where we can go from there. And just get some ideas out and what you guys do and don't like about, you know, the Rugrats being 30 years old. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys in the next video.